everyone, how are you? So today we are going to talk about the jester archetype, okay? Along with the every person and the lover archetypes, uh, which I've talked about in the last two videos, the jester also is also part of the motivation for belonging, for connection, okay? He wants to be uh, among other people, but in his case, of course, when we are talking about jester, we are talking about having fun, we are talking about have a good laughter, just, you know, seizing the day, uh, joy to the world. So the jester can be the comedian, uh, the joker, or just that friend that you always call when you want to have fun, the f that friend who is like the life of the party. So every figure who embodies this sense of, well, let's have fun, let's enjoy the day, let's be in the here and now, we can all relate to the jester archetype, okay? It's about lightness, it's about uh, humor, it's about a good laugh. So, uh, branding-wise, we can think about some good examples in M&M's chocolates and Pringles chips and Ben & Jerry's uh, ice cream. So, uh, a brand that uh, caters to these uh, immediate pleasures. Uh, it's uh, all, all about colors, it's about irreverence. They can all relate to the jester archetype, okay? In fashion, we have a good example with Diesel. Uh, the the campaigns are, they always have this kind of irreverent, ironic aspect, and I think the most uh, iconic among them is the Be Stupid campaign, like I think five or maybe ten years ago. And also Moschino, uh, it's, a, it's a brand that shows that we we can talk about luxury fashion, but we can also mock fashion, okay? There's always this uh, iro uh, ironic aspect in the collections and they play around with um, icons of our culture like McDonald's and Barbie and again there are there is a lot of color there is a lot of uh, um, references from children's world from our child childhood because basically the jester wants to keep our inner child alive okay it's always ready to play it's always ready to have fun and you know let's forget about problems let's forget about the serious stuff and just you know live the moment never never ever miss the opportunity to have fun okay so if your brand identifies with the jester how can you communicate the message it's all about telling your consumers or inviting your consumers to you know seize the day let's have fun it's a very uh, kind of light approach towards your product okay but bear in mind that you can cater all these messages of having fun and you know don't take things seriously but you still have to take care of your consumers offer a good uh, customer service it's just um the message of you know do you want to have fun life is too hard let's just seize the day so come on be part of our brand and you find what you are looking for okay this is the key message here let's just have fun above all things okay and uh, i guess the world really needs it right now because things are hard uh, every time we watch the news it's just like bad news and we are all uh, we are looking for some escape routes and the jester archetype is the perfect archetype to you know just let's take a break let's relax a little bit so if you think you can do this and your competition is not doing it very well there is definitely a gap in the market so just go with this okay 
so and finally i think a very 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 good example of the jester archetype is the movie ferris bueller days off okay if you think about that character it's all about the jester it's all about cutting class for one day just for the sake of having fun with your friends and this is the essence of the jester archetype let's have fun let's seize the day let's be among people that we like and you know life is short and that's pretty much it so i hope you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe the, uh, the channel and turn on the bell here so you don't miss uh, a video and next time we're going to wrap up the series of archetypes and I'll talk about the creator, the ruler and the caregiver. Okay, hope to see you there. Bye bye.